All right, Norman. Hi, everybody. My name is Linda Martinez, and I want to piggyback off of something that he just said because it's so um, important. To me, I'm always saying this, and people correct me, they say, well, it's not hand-holding, but yeah, I need my hand held. And having people, how he says, from the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls, which I'm a part of, people like Glenn Martin and Just Leadership USA, the people from the Center for Justice, where I'm also a part of, uh, be that support system for me, that's what, what has helped me a lot in my path. And I'm also formerly incarcerated, by the way. Uh, I'm also, I'm a, and I'm a student at Columbia University. My passion uh, is education, and that's what I fight for because I, like uh, Loretta Lynch, the, our attorney general, said education is the key to helping us get out of this hole we're in with mass incarceration. I'm also Dominican. <laughs> I am the daughter of Dominican uh, immigrants. And um, yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take sorry. your time, Layla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so again, uh, I'm going to uh, Loretta Lynch for the great work that she's done, especially uh, around, uh, in the administration, the entire administration, around the criminal justice reform, and especially with uh, education, the Fair Chance, the Fair Chance educa ed Education Pledge, the Alliance for uh, educa Higher Education Inside of Prison, and the Beyond the Box Guidance, which, uh, use my uh, story in the, in their, as a student spotlight. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, so education is the key. And why is education the key? Because it has been demonstrated through research that the higher education a person has, the lower the recidivism rates. Without an, an education, the recidivism rates are 67%. When a person has some education, the numbers are drastically lowered. They're 13.7. If they have a bachelor's degree, it's 5.6. Mm -hmm. And if they have a master's degree, that's 0%. 0 percent. Zero percent for someone who has a master's degree. However, we don't have enough support system, and that's what the administration has been fighting for, to bring back Pell Grants to prisons and to help uh, the schools, right, to take off the box from the application. Because for me, when I was trying to get into Columbia and I came across the question on the application, it was very, it was hard, and I wanted to, it derailed me. I wanted to stop the process, but I continued, and I answered it in a way that they weren't expecting. I said, they wanted to know what was my crime, but to me, it's important that people don't see my crime, because that's not who I am. I'm much more than that. So I answered it in a different way, and I just told them, well, I made some mistakes when I was younger that led me to uh, be incarcerated for a short amount of time. However, this is who I am now, and I explained who I was. And that, that's important, that we see people as who they are because we already paid our price for the crime that we committed, and now we're home, so we should be able to start off on a fresh slate, right? <laughs> So that's important to me, and because of that, I also started a student group at Columbia University for formerly incarcerated students, which I'm hoping to make it a little bit more than that in order to provide supportive services, which we don't have a lot of, because even though uh, I have a full scholarship, which, oh, by the way, it's called Pro um, Program for Academic, Academic Leadership and Service. So I'm a leader at um, campus, 
And I have found so much support system in the university. And that's why I fight so much to bring education, uh, to take off the box and to um, expand on the services that we have at Columbia because I have found such a great support system and that's what gives me strength to fight for others and to help bring others into the same space that I'm in. The School of General Studies, the administration there has taken me under their wing. My, my fellow students, I, couldn't, I wouldn't be here without them, without the help from, of the Center for Justice, the Heyman Center. I just, I, I would love to be able to just like take everybody and bring them there because it, it, that's important to us, like Norman said, to be able to, to feel that support and, and a network, it's really important. So yeah, education is the key and schools are present. That's what we need. Thank you.